Hi, Starklings. It's me, Stark Reality, and I thought I would do something a little bit different for this video. I thought that I would go back into my own catalogue of work and take a trip down memory lane. That's right, I'm going to be reacting to one of my own videos. Yes, one of my own pieces of content, which is... It's quite a scary thing, actually, to be revisiting one of your own pieces of work, especially because I'm an artist. And as an artist, I created the original piece of work with a perceived notion in mind. I had an intent as an artist. And I'm the type of artist that doesn't really like to give away my intentions to my creations. I like for you guys to pick up on that yourself, to intuit something of it on your own, but if I'm going to be doing a reaction, I'm going to be giving my honest, heartfelt opinions on the piece of work, and you're going to get, in a way, spoiled on what the intentions of the piece of work is. So, if you have not... Watch this video before that I'm reacting to. When I get to reacting to it, pause this particular video you're watching, pause it, open up the tab, and watch the original video, take in your own thoughts, your own, your own beliefs, and absorb it into your soul, and come up with something yourself, because you're going to be watching me, and I'm going to be giving you my opinions on it, my history, what it was like to create this video, and, it, you know, Maybe watching it today, maybe it'll even give me something new. Maybe it will bestow upon me something that I have never felt via this piece of work before. So let's head over to my YouTube channel. Now, if you are not subscribed to Stark Reality on YouTube, make sure that you are. I've only got 20 subscribers. That's really low, guys. I was expecting 20 thousand subscribers, but I've only got 20 subscribers. So make sure that you click the subscription, click the bell as well. Make sure to like every single one of my videos, share them around to all of your friends, families, and even enemies. Maybe they'll get something out of uh, my shoe collection or T2 or Revival. Maybe you'll get something out of the original T or Love Slash Hate. Check out all of the videos, why don't you? What video are we going to be revisiting in this episode of Reactions? Yes, episode. Maybe I'll do more of these. If you guys want more of these, leave a comment below and let me know if you want more of my reactions. And maybe let me know if there's a particular video of mine that you want me to react to that I'm not doing in this episode. Just hit all of the stuff. Subscribe, like, share, the bell, comment, all of the stuff. Just do it already. Just do it. Sorry, I'm getting a little frustrated. So, what video are we looking at? We're going to be looking at the first video on the channel. That's right, we're going to have fun. Yay! So let's get this video up before it starts playing. Let's just give this a like. There's only been two likes on here, but 550 views. That's pretty good. That's pretty great. That's actually excellent. It's what I want. I actually want double that. Maybe maybe even quadruple that. How about we all try and share this particular video around called Fun, get it to well over a million views, and then maybe I'll react to this video again once it's reached that milestone. Maybe it'll have a new meaning if it reaches some superficial number. Who knows? Can one have fun whilst caught in the dark jungle of depression is the description I put down for this video. And it's a hell of a question to ask. It's one that is plaguing me still to this day, and I'm the one who put that question down. So I'm going to leave a comment below. I'm going to answer this question. I'm going to write maybe and that will go there, and you know what? Let's give this a like, let's give it a thumbs up, and let's pin this comment to the very top so that anyone who comes on can see it, and maybe it'll challenge their views. Maybe they thought it was a definite yes or no, but in fact, the answer is maybe, or maybe it isn't maybe. Maybe you have a different interpretation. Maybe you have a more defined answer. So there we are. Let's stop beating around the bush. Let's put on some headphones so that I can hear the glorious audio that I put down for fun. Okay? So let's get this full screen, full screen away. Here we go. 
I'm going to stop it right there. That music there, if you can hear it, it's slowly creeping in. Beautiful stuff. I found this piece of music on a site online in which you can get free music, and it was a, it was just the right balance for what I was going with with this, uh, with this particular film. And if we can go back again. Uh, you'll see it's a black screen. I started out with black, and it slowly fades in the text. Do you see how slow that is? It takes about two seconds. Uh, I could have e- immediately had it come up at one second, but here it is. And there, fun. It's still not even fully, uh, fully optimized yet. Uh, it's still a bit faded, and uh, there it is. Fun. F-U-N. And as you can see, the uh, fun is... It's in the center of the frame. I know it may look like it's a little bit lower, but that's just because we're watching this on on YouTube in full screen. It's a bit different. Um, when I was making this video fun, I was not having fun in life at that period of time. And I thought I wanted to make a video exploring the concept of fun whilst I myself was not familiar with that concept. I was in quite a rough place in life. But... uh Let's go back to the start so that we can fully embrace the uh, fun of fun. (laughs) Excellent. Excellent music. Oh, first image right off the bat. I... (laughs) That bedroom that I was filming in for this, uh, it was kind of the... The epicenter for a lot of my creativity during this period of time. I was having a lot of emotions and I was isolating myself off. Isolating. That term has lost all meaning over the last year or two, hasn't it? But I was isolating myself off and I was just lost in thought. And I was writing them down, painting them down, filming these ideas and thoughts down. And a lot of them were taking place in my bedroom at that period of time. And... Sorry for the interruption. That music. Again, that music really captures the tone of what this is going to be all about. You see, I was making this video called Fun in a in a moment in my life in which I was unfamiliar with the concept. I was unfamiliar with what it was like to have fun. So I created this video to try and reinvigorate that sensation for myself, to, to revisit what it is to have fun. So let's go back to the start. Let's go back to the start. Let's start this again. Yes. Oh. This bedroom here that that this scene is uh, filmed in was my bedroom at the time of creating this. And uh, you could say that this bedroom here was the epicenter for myself as an artist during this period of time because I was isolating myself off in this room. <laughs> Isolation. Isolation. I mean, isolating. That word has lost all meaning over the last year or so, hasn't it? It's completely redefined. But I was uh, alone a lot during this time. I was putting myself away in my room to seclude myself from the rest of the world. I was deep in thought. I was always thinking. I was always feeling. And I was putting those thoughts and feelings into pieces of art, such as such as this video here. And I was just not having fun. It was a certain time of the year in which uh, things were kind of stagnant and I just was not having any good times. So I thought, 
yeah, let's make a video. Let's film it here in this bedroom because this is the room in which fun is not happening. So let's make this the room in which fun is actually happening. So let's go back. If I could stop for a second. This image here. This image here. (laughs) That says it all, doesn't it? It says it all. The thesis of this entire endeavour is in this image here. Right in the eyes. Right in this face. This, This undefined face. You can read so much off of this image. What's it feeling? Is it feeling fun? You see, I used these uh, these quick cuts back and forth from a faraway shot to an intense close-up to really have this, uh, well, whatever you are getting from this image, to really hit you in the face, to really come at you and make you feel things, to make you uh, feel, uh, uh, feel afraid, feel s- safe, uh, feel whatever it is that you get away from this video. Having to watch this now in this particular moment in time in which the world is falling apart, I'm feeling pretty unnerved, if I've got to be honest with you. The, the timeless quality, uh, and not even timeless, the fluidity, the the fluid nature of this of this particular vi- video is what's really compelling me to it. I made this years ago, and it is relevant even more so now than it was then. I mean, it's just crazy. And see, to go back, I'm sitting it in a wheelchair. I made this head and these eyes myself. I like to try and make all of my own material that I use in uh, videos and use in my any art project, really. And so I made this. I sat it in a wheelchair that I owned at the time. As you can see, there's a fan behind that, and that was because it was a hot time of year, so the fan was being used. But I thought, leave it in there. It adds to the authenticity of the project. And the wheelchair, well, it's a wheelchair. You can imbue it with any meaning you like. I am not going to say what it is for you, but upon this watching of it and when I was creating it, it was uh, to symbolize uh, the crippling fear of being unable to feel fun ever again and thus placing fun in the chair that was representative of that feeling was, well, it was adding spice to this video. Oh, oh, see that moment there where it pixelized for a moment? That that was a, a video effect that I found on the editing software, and I thought it just matched perfectly for the vibrancy of the image, and I thought it went right on well with the beat of the music and the pixelization. I, I, we live in the digital age. Do I need to say more about how we are digitizing our own feelings and emotions and image onto the internet and onto social media? I don't think I need to explain that. This here explains it just perfectly. There it is. Perfect. Oh, oh, oh. I'm hitting us with a lot of uh, images there. Uh, a warping effect, black and white, uh, thresher. Oh, a lot of stuff is happening there. And that's because a lot of stuff is happening in the scape of your mind. Or at least it's happening... A lot of stuff's happening in the scape of my mind, especially during this period of time in which I was questioning so much about myself. The black and white, of course, symbolizing the past and... Also, the sense of purgatory um, is only brief and short because the the past is brief and short and purgatory, although ever constant, is yet to affect me, but it is on the ever-present of my life. Uh, To go back, just before we end this... You'll notice right here, I've got a beam of light. Again, 
This is not for me to tell you how to feel about this. This is for you to interpret it on your own. But I'm trying to say here that there's a there's a beam of light at the end of this tunnel. You're not going to be alone like this forever. There is going to be an end in sight. And of course, to cap the video off, I let you know who it's made by. I think it's always important to credit the artist that's involved. And of course, when you do credit the artist that's involved, you make sure to subscribe, you make sure to like, you make sure to share, you make sure to leave a comment below like a great video, video. And uh, you make sure to comment that and, you know, you let everyone know how you feel about this. You make sure to sort it. And oh, there it is. Great video. Great video. Make sure to leave likes, comments, subscriptions, all this kind of stuff. Make sure to share this around. Let me know your feelings on my piece of media. Until next time.